Let me show you how to use the Rotor Brush 2 in After Effects to create a nice cinematic depth of field shot in After Effects. If you ever wondered how to achieve that cinematic depth of field effect you get from expensive cameras and lenses, I'll show you how to generate a fake depth of field technique that adds an enchanting cinematic touch to your footage. So let's dive into it. So I have my video in After Effects of this woman in a field. It has some depth of field to it, but I'm gonna increase it even more and make the shot even more cinematic. So first thing I look at is where should my focus be? You have to look at it from a depth perspective. So obviously everything that's in line with my subject should be in focus, which means my subject should be sharp along with the field elements alongside her horizontally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit option W and I'm gonna select my subject using the green roto brush and holding option to use the red brush to remove parts of the roto. So as I go along here, I'm just selecting my subject. Any parts that I miss, I'm gonna hold the option key and I'm gonna remove it. I'll speed this up. And once I have that in a good spot, I could press option W again to switch to the refine edge tool. And I'm gonna select the edges to soften them a bit more. And we'll speed this up for your viewing pleasure. So if I change my view to the alpha overlay, I could see my roto much better. Okay, so that was just a quick overview of the roto brush. If you wanna learn more about rotoscoping, then check out some of my other rotoscoping videos linked below that dives a little bit more into detail on rotoscoping. So once I'm done with my roto, I'll jump back into my composition and I'll duplicate my footage and remove the roto effect from the bottom layer. I'll give them both a name. So now I'll add the effect camera lens blur to my bottom layer. And here in the effect controls, I'll make my blur radius about 40. So now I'll duplicate my layer again. I'll remove my blur. And this is gonna be my in focus portion where I'll add my mask. So I'll make sure I add a nice big feather to this mask so it emulates the fall off of focus distance. I'll add some keyframes here to make sure it stays in line with my subject. So from here, I can go back into my roto and I could refine my edge a bit. I could add a feather. I could do a few tweaks to it. Once I have that in a good spot, I could see that my subject has this blurred edge effect around the edges of their body, which is a result of my bottom layer being blurred. So I'll fix this by duplicating my layer again, and I'll pull up my scale parameters I'll unconstrain the proportions. So I'll actually scrunch my layer in a bit and I'll create a rough mask around my blurred subject and I'll feather it. So as you can see here, the before and after, my subject's edge is gone and you can't even tell the difference. So there you have it, another easy way to transform your shot and take it to another level. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to experiment, refine, and make this technique your own. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. See you next time.